so let's get onto the graph aspect of this so as i've indicated on the graph every graph should have a name so you're going to have it your break even graph you're going to have it your break even graph then you indicate it on it but remember graph we don't use pen you always use pencil but for clarity purpose that's why i'm using pen to to let you see everything very well so that is that so let's start to plot with it so remember always with your cost of revenue line this line the vertical line as we defined in our, uh, in our previous video as a pattern of break even we said that your cost of revenue line is always been by the vertical line and the output is always been by what your horizontal line always it will always be best for you to have your cost of revenue line with your revenue what figures or revenue values to represent your cost of revenue line i mean this one this i'm talking about this revenue figures the eighty thousand one sixty two forty two twenty four hundred thousand always use that one on your cost of revenue line as i've indicated here it's very best if you go by that so that you can get all your values within that right so let's start to plot this aspect so just as we have indicated it here you are going to plot this okay so here this is how it goes so i'll start to plot my first cost because i've already plotted my units okay unit variables sorry my units i've already plotted this so i'm going to plot my first cost okay let's start plotting the originals original first cost variable cost and then total cost and revenue the original before we come to the new new ones okay so let's start so here we know that our first cost is what two hundred thousand for every activity level so i'm going to plot two hundred thousand against each unit here okay five hundred thousand then those so i'm going to plot two hundred thousand against each unit so let's get into it so i'll place it down so i'll look for my two hundred thousand on my revenue line so let's see i have it to be 8160 so let's see so in between is what always in between is 80 so you need to do this calculation per each boss we have 10 bosses within per each boss and here is from here is 80,000 so per each boss meaning that if i have here to 80,000 per each boss is 10 meaning that each boss houses what 8,000 dollars of cost or revenue okay so we're going to do that so let's do the calculation that we can note our first cost point so mean that if i want to get my 200,000 it is worth 8,000 multiplied i'm going to take half of it because i have going to give me what 200 i have going to give me 200,000 dollars here so the half will be here so i'm going to have the half here so this is the point where my first cost line will start okay so here i'm going to have on a five i'm going to have my 200 here so i'm going to make that plot then thousand they say 200 then it goes on and on and on and on and on so you see always your face cost is a straight line which is parallel to your horizontal line that's your output line okay so after that you have you take a your ruler then you join them together so that will be your face cost so we are joining them sharp So this is your face cost line. This is your face cost line. So you can indicate it your face cost line. Your face cost line. So let me indicate it here. Your face cost line. Or curve. Okay. But note that under traditional break even graph or chart. We don't indicate your variable cost. So I'm going to indicate your first cost, your total cost, and your total revenue line to determine our break even point. Okay, so take note of that. So after plotting my first cost line, I'm going to talk about plotting my total cost line or curve. So the total cost line or curve, that's where we have it here. We have the 240, the 280. So I'm going to plot this. Okay, I'm going to plot these values here, these values here. So that I can have it against the units, against the units, these units. So let's take note of that. So with that, 
my 500 units is having what a total cost of 240 so here my 500 will be here then my 240 will be here so i'm going to plot it at this point okay then my thousand output i'm having a total cost of 280 so mean that 280 half of this is going to give me what 280 so 280 will be somewhere here that will meet that of the thousand then 1500 my 1500 where is it yeah it was having a total cost of 320 and that 220 is here so i'm going to have it within here then my 2000 is also having a total cost of what total cost of 360 so 360 is also going to be half of this so i'm going to have it here then my 2500 also having a total cost of what 400,000 400,000 so that 400,000 is going to be here then my 3000 is also having a cost of 440 so 440 is going to be also be half of this so half of 400,000 40,000 then my 3500 is also having a total cost of 480,000 that 480,000 is going to be here here then match up then 4000 i'm having a total cost of let's see where is it for the total cost of 520 520 so because we're gonna have to be here half of this year then lastly as a last but one four times 500 i'm having a total cost of four times i find i'm having a total cost of what 560 and that 50 gonna be here then lastly my 5000 i'm having a total cost of 600 that's not gonna be half of this also gonna be here so this is what i'm talking about so you clearly see this is what we are actually talking about here shall we so these are my output of the 240 283 320 30 400 440 then 48 sorry then 520 then 560 and then 600 i have plotted this okay against the output so i'm going to have my straight line being drawn but remember we said that your total cost curve or line start from where your face cost line meet the vertical line here's your cost of revenue line so i'm going to have it straight away here cut across then touch it so i'm going to have my total cost to be here so my total what cost it's my total cost okay so once my total cost is established, then I can know my total revenue. We say the total revenue line start from the point of origin, start from zero, and it's drawn directly as in the diagonal section to cut across your total face cost curve or line and that of your total cost line. Okay, so let's start with your revenue line. As we have indicated, remember we use the revenue line, the revenue values to represent our total cost or revenue line for the vertical line so straight away we can pick it from there that if i'm having 500 units this is what i'm trying to talk about if i'm having 500 units of output i'm having a total revenue of what 8000 same 1160 so that's what i've indicated here that's what i've indicated here that's what i've indicated here the 8160 and 240 and those ones so that's what i've indicated so straight away i can easily plot it okay and plot it so let's see let's go straight away so i can say that i can say that my 500 let's have a 500 here my 500 i can have what total revenue of this then with my thousand i can have 160 so gonna be here so 1500 is also going to be what 240 Let's take note. 240. Then 2000. I'm also having what? 320. But that's why we used to plot the vertical So straight that we can move in that dimension. Two times having what? 400. So it's going to be here. Then 3000. I'm having what? 480. Then 2000. I'm having $560,000. Then 4000. I'm having 640 thousand dollars and four times five hundred four thousand five hundred 
quarter and five hundred I'm having quarter and five hundred I'm having what seven twenty thousand dollars then lastly five thousand I'm having my eight hundred eight hundred thousand dollars so you're gonna be here here should I gonna be here so here all I'll be doing is we have my line being drawn right from the origin okay I want to do it so that you can clearly see what I'm talking about what I'm talking about you can clearly see what I'm talking about so straight away I'm going to draw we have my line being drawn so I'm going to start from here straight straight line to pass through all the points okay so I'm going to have a straight line being drawn which is my total revenue line Total revenue line. Take note. So this is my total revenue line. My TR total revenue what's line. Okay. So once I have this now, I can see that my original break-even point is at this point. This will be my original break-even point. So the break-even point in units is at this point which is 2500 and my break even point in value is also at this cost revenue line here which is your 4000 that's my break even point in terms of so here is my here is my BEP in terms of what units. Then here is my BEP in terms of what value. For the question asks us to indicate question asks us to indicate base cost, total revenue, total cost, break even point in value, then margin of safety. Then also my margin of safety from the output line gonna be from this side here that will be my margin of safety mos in terms of genius then here gonna be my mox mox in terms of value that's margin of safety i hope that is clear I remember we were asked to also to the when there is a change is the pit a new break even line when there is a change in that of your fish cost and your total so we're going to plot that one to then have what that line to be also to be drawn okay so let's engage that one so I would that one too I'm going to do the same plotting what I'll be doing here is to do the plotting I'm going to plot my new fish cost which is the to twenty thousand new face cost then going to plot my new total cost which is this where is it this one the two six four the three zero eight then three five two thousand this one's going to plot that one then I I also plot against my new total what revenue okay so that I get to know where the break even point for so let's be with me okay so I'm plotting it okay so now let's plot our new face cost. So our new face cost it was what two twenty thousand for every level. So here, here is my one. Here is my two hundred thousand. So here, meaning that my two twenty gonna be here. If here is two hundred thousand, two twenty gonna be half of these five boxes. So one and what two. So going to be in between here. Here is where my face cost new face cost curve will start the eighth boss half of the eighth boss gonna be mine so here gonna be my new where my new face cost will start face cost curve will start so i'm going to plot for 500 gonna be half of this so i'm going to have it here then for thousand to same thing here 
So straight away, that's how you're gonna be. So let's take note of that. So after plotting it, you're going to have straight away your new face cost line to be drawn to pass through. So this will be my new face cost. My new face cost. This will be my new face cost what line. Okay. Then we are going to do the same for as we did for the total cost and total rent based on this what button that you have done so far here. So straight out is very simple. As we done with the original, the same thing going to do with what the new adapter that we are done for today. So let's take note of that. So this is how your graph will look like after plotting everything from your workings to look like this. So your you already see that your total cost. This is why your total cost is gonna be total cost. So you just start from here then to flow start plotting everything gonna be in a straight line like this remember your new total revenue your new total revenue is the same as your original total revenue so that line is already been plotted so no problem with that so this is how then really your graph gonna be if you have to plot it everything very well this is how it's gonna be then take its effect right from there so that is how it is for you to get it right from that way so that is how your new break even graph gonna be and together with your original break even graph or point sorry so take note of that so this is where we bring an end to the question and answers on break even so the next section we discuss other methods and the business mathematics so thank you once again so if this video was helpful to you please go ahead to like subscribe comment and share and make any recommendation you want us to help you on so thank you once again i'll be with you in the next video bye bye